what's up what's up guys it's your favorite man dokazi chester today we are going to look at a powerful strategy i use most of the time and it it has shown consistent profits without any further ado please make sure to like and subscribe to the video let's get into it so first things first we have to switch to a bigger time frame like the daily let me just make this one and then when we are on the daily you make sure to spot out our supply and demand zones supply and demand zone this is all what we are going to do on the on our daily time frame it's put out the playgrounds of the market which is our supply and demand zone okay you see small area ah, but leave it let me just make this one spot out another one okay now we switch to a lower time frame to a time lower time frame what we are going to do is on our lower time frame is we are going to spot out our levels our support and resistance levels our trend lines and our highs and lows that is what we are going to do so we are going to switch let's first switch to a line chart view and spot out our resistant levels our resistant levels we have one here we have another one there Just make this one longer. Just make it longer. There. Okay. Let's just put out the last and final one. The last and final one. Let's see where, where. Okay. There's nothing. But it's okay. Now. After we are done. Spotting out our support and resistance levels what you want to do is switch back to our candlesticks and then spot out our trend lines trend lines Put it out our trend line. Put out our trend lines. Okay, after we are finished with that, we can see that we are in a down trend. In a down trend. We were in a down trend. We were in a down trend by you can see here we hit lower lows we have our lower lows second lower low because it's lower than the previous low 
and then our sixties final or last lower low. We can see we had our first touch over here, second touch there, and then our fifth. Low. Then we move out. After we have spotted our highs and lows and lower lows and our trend line, what we want to do next is go to a smaller time frame, which is our one hour time frame, and see what the market had for us. Is for us. As we can see, market break out of our downtrend resistance line. It came it retested our line it shot up now it's coming back it's coming back it's coming back to our to this level which we can see market is creating a new a new structure a new trend which which I'm not uh, this thing I'm not in it what we see is that market break out of this it came back to this level now it's coming back down it's coming back down Now we are only looking for entry points. Entry point. If market comes like this, come and give us like sort of a, a double bottom, then we are looking up for further for the buys. If not, then we might be if market can and breaks this structure, this strong support structure, then we might be looking for further shorts to the downside. This is what I'm currently seeing on the Aussie K dollar. This is what I'm seeing on the Aussie K dollar. There's not much to explain here. But this is what I am seeing and what I am thinking will happen. This is what I think and I want to I want to happen. Okay. That's all on our Aussie Cape dollar. Now let's go to another pair. Another pair. As you can see on our Aussie NZD, I took this one was one way. Man, I think Monday, and this one was yesterday. Today switch day. Yeah, I took this trade. This one I took it in the morning, and this one I took it yesterday. And look, we hit our take profits easily just by applying these simple rules. You will, you will, you will. And what do we have in there? on our kit? Let's see. This one we are still looking for. If market comes to this area, we might be looking for a, a buy into into this area. But that is all from me. Please make sure to like and subscribe, guys. It's your favorite man, Dokazi Chester, signing out.